Welcome boys and girls. We will be doing a flip class from Mrs. Roman's class, which means if we're doing a flip classroom, that means that Mrs. Roman is giving you the opportunity to view the lesson before you even come to the classroom. So you have a total head start if you are responsible. You'll be able to take notes, rewind the video, fast forward the video, whatever it is that you need to do, pause it as you take notes, whatever it is that you need to do to be successful. I'd like you to preview the lesson, see the examples before you even come to class. So that way when you come into my classroom, you practice, you ask questions. This is Mrs. Roman's first time attempting to do the flip classroom. So bear with me. It's going to be our first video. The book that we are using in Mrs. Roman's classroom is called Go Math. So today we are starting with chapter one, lesson one. Common Core Standard is for sixth grade, number sense two. Um, our objective, we will be dividing multi-digit numbers. So we have a number here that's three digits. It's a multi-digit number, 179 divided by 18. Now this example is not in your book. I'm doing a very basic example and I want to review some information with you. When I see 179 divided by eight, and when I say that, this means that my first number which is actually going to be called my dividend. My dividend is the number that I am dividing up into 18 groups. My dividend will be divided by the divisor. And when I solve my problem, that big group of numbers being divided up into 18 groups. When I find out how many groups, that answer is going to be called a quotient, okay? So whatever my answer is, we'll call it X for now, that is the quotient. These are the vocabulary terms you need to know when it comes to dividing. So boys and girls, let's go ahead and start. Get out your notebook, please write down in your notebook, this exact same problem, but we're gonna write it down so that we can actually solve it. So I'm gonna take the first number, 179, and I'm going to divide it by 18. So 179 is my dividend. The way I remember dividend goes inside my little dividing house is, I hear the word den and dividend. And a den is like a living room inside of a house, okay? So it goes inside, 179 divided by 18. 18 is a divisor. A visor hat you wear outside. So I just remember that 18 might be outside my little house. Those are some ways that I remember how to set up my problem. So I have 179, 179 divided by 18. Now, I have to think in my mind, how many times can I multiply 18 so that I can get to 1? Well, 1 divided by 18, you can't make that happen. So I'm going to skip the 1. I can put an X up here or I can put a 0 as a placeholder. If it helps, you can just go ahead and put a 0. It cannot go, be, 1 cannot be divided by 18. So I'm going to jump forward to 17 the next set of digits, 17 divided by 18. If I have 17 candies, can I divide it amongst 18 friends? No, I can't, I'll be short. So I'm gonna have to place another zero up here. Can't do it. Now I'm gonna use all three digits, 179, 179 divided by 18. Wow, that's a large number. I have no clue how many times 18 can go into 179. This is when estimation comes into place. You have to think, what number can I round 18 to? Well, is 18 closer to 10 or is it closer to 20? Well, it's closer to 20. So I'm going to actually think in my mind that this might be close to 20. So uh, now I'm going to look over to my divisor and think 179. 
how many times can 179 what well excuse me how what number is 179 close to 179 is so close to 180 so i'm going to keep this problem just here for a minute and i'm going to rewrite it i'm going to rewrite it as 20 dividing into 180. This is what I'm thinking in my mind because this will help me estimate how many times 18 can go into 179. Well, I see that 20 has a zero and 180 has a zero. I'm going to eliminate these zeros. If I take the zeros out, it helps me figure out how many times 20 can go into 180. Um, because I'm not really good at multiplication or it might be quicker to do it by eliminating the zeros. So I'm gonna take out these zeros and I'm gonna think in my head, two times what gets me close to 18? Well, simple, two times nine. Two times nine gets me to 18. Two times nine is 18. Well, if I add those zeros back, that means that 20 times nine gives me 180. Trust me, it's true. Let's try it. Let's count by 20s and we're going to do it nine times to see if we get to 180. So here we go. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. So nine times, 20 times nine gets me to 180. Well, this information is very important because now I know that if I multiply 18 times nine, it might get me close to 179. I'm going to do this work on the side. If you are doing this work in your notebook and you wrote down this problem and you wrote down the 20 into 180, we can just box out a space in your notebook. I like to do that where I can do my work. 18 times, nine let's see what it gives us let me use that quotient we got from the problem previous problem nine times eight is 72. i do nine times is 72. nine times one is nine and nine plus seven gives me 16. 162 is 162 close to 179 yes it's very close is it close enough well let's just check um, if I do 18 times 10, when you multiply any number times 10, all you have to do is add a zero at the end of that number and it'll give you your answer. So we're going to write down 18 with a zero at the end. That's 180. 180 is more than 179. I should never pass the number that's in the dividend. So 18 times 10 is not my answer, but we can try 18 times 9. 18 times 9. We put it at the top. Now, I like to use the acronym Dad, Mom, Sister, Brother, Rover. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat my steps to solve this division problem. I already did division. 179 divided by 18 should be nine times. Now we're gonna do nine times 18. We did nine times 18. Let me do it again. It's 162. So we just did multiplication. We did division, multiplication. I'm gonna write down 162 below 179 and now I'm going to subtract. Nine minus two is seven. Seven minus six is one. And one minus one is zero. So I have 17 here. Now I have to bring down. There is nothing to bring down here. Today we are going to be allowed to divide with a remainder. So there is nothing to bring down. I'm not going to do decimals. I have a remainder of 17. I'm going to make sure that this remainder is less than my divisor. And yes, it is. So I can write that the answer is 9 remainder 17 and I'm all done.